Hey guys, I just bought this non-running lawnmower for 25 bucks and I'll have a separate video on all the complete repairs and tune-up I've done to it. One of the repairs that I had to do was the dry belt cover. The portion that holds this cover in place broke off completely. Now it did make sense to spend 30 to 40 bucks on a replacement cover for a $25 lawnmower. So I decided to fix it and actually make it stronger than the original. If you can wash your plastic part without damaging it, use the warm water and dishwash liquid to clean the surface that you are going to repair. After that, use the alcohol and cotton pad to clean the surface again, just to ensure that the surface is clean and free of any grease. After all the parts are dried from alcohol and water, I'm super gluing the two broken parts together. This is to help hold the pieces together when I perform the plastic welding. For this procedure, I'm using black plastic zip ties as my welding compound. Basically, I'll be using the soldering iron to carefully melt the zip tie and mold it into a strong support base around the broken plastic parts. Please note that the soldering iron is extremely hot and if you hold it too long in a same location it's just going to melt right through it. So you might want to practice on another surface using your own uh, plastic zip ties and soldering iron uh, to get a good feel for how long it takes to melt and how to shape it. Once you're ready carefully melt the zip tie and start building about 45 degree wall at the base of the two welding parts and instead of trying to build a thick wall at one time consider going around two to three times gradually to build a base and you want to do this in a well ventilated area because you don't want to be smelling all the uh, the burning plastic parts in my case I had a mask on and also the uh, safety glasses I'm not going to bore you with near 10 minutes of careful soldering, so I'll speed up just a few sections of the video. I think it turned out really good. So yesterday I did, I believe I did uh, two of these zip ties. Uh, I did another one today. So I saw some areas that looked uh, uh, not enough uh, support, so I went around it. Uh, it looks pretty strong. I can lift on it, I can shake it, I can try to, I can try to bend it, and it won't budge. So, looks like I don't have to do the baking soda uh, crazy glue trick. Uh, this is already good. I'm gonna keep this video short, but in the next video that covers all the fixes and maintenances I've done to this lawnmower, I'll show you how well this, this was holding up. I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.